I'm 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 gonna preach a message to you, but um, I I pray I pray that it's more encouraging than convicting. You know what I mean? If if, if it convicts you, um, it it'll be in a way that it'll encourage you. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if that makes sense, but when we go through it, you'll see. Um, okay, then Matthew chapter 22, and and we're gonna start we're gonna start in verse 34. Okay, Matthew um, 22, verse uh, 34, um, the Bible says, And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Pharisees heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they, they were all gathered together. Isn't, isn't that funny how the Lord is? The Lord, the, the Lord comes up, and anything He says, nobody can, nobody can refute it. It, it says right there, He put the, he, he put the Sadducees to silence. Yeah. They, they, these guys are supposed to be the, the big holy Joes, yeah. and here come the Lord, and, and, and they're like, yeah, blah blah blah, and He just goes, blah, and they're just like, oh, we don't know what to do with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Verse 35, he says, um, then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, saying, Master, which is the great commandment of the law? And Jesus sa uh, said unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Amen. Wow. <laughs> right there, right there. That's, that's convicted right there. Because, because, you know, I mean, when you look at that word love, and he says that we should love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul. I mean, we already know we fell at this. We, we fell at this. But, you know, when you think about it, when you love someone, and we do love the Lord, but when you love someone, you'll, you'll, you, it, it'll show in the things that you do. Amen. So, 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 you know, what I, what I want to try to do in this message is to, is to get us to think more about him and then ask ourselves, do you really love the Lord? Do you really love him? Okay, obviously, you know he loves us, okay? I mean, I mean he saved our souls, you know what I mean? Amen. Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. He gives us everlasting life. That's how much love, that's how much love he has for us. For, um, Roman, Romans 5, uh, uh, it's 5, 8. It says God commended his love toward us. Commend means like to show or to demonstrate. He, he said, he said for, if, but God commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yeah. Think, think, think of the worst sin you ever committed. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, that's between y'all. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to let everybody bring out their dirty laundry or anything, but, but you know what he said? He said that 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 he he cleanses he saves sinners and he'll cleanse you from all yeah. your sins. Amen. Amen. Wow, man! So you know what that means when you stand before God, you're gonna stand before Him righteous. That's how much He loved you, wow. as bad as you was to Him, yeah. as sure. wicked as you were. I remember that being lost and 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 just being so wicked yeah. and, and and just such a uh, it's such a God hater yes. and, and, and a hater of His people. You know what I mean? For him to even come my way and, and, and save me, man, that's, that's true love. That's yeah. true love. Yeah. I mean, um, but, you know, uh, and he said, he said in John 15, 13, he said, uh, uh, yeah. uh, gre greater love have no man than this, that he give his life for his friends. He gave his life for us. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? When he when he when he shed his precious blood up there, and he said, "It is." I mean, well, what did he say? He said, "My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me?" Man, when when he said that, I mean, at that time, that was when all of our sins, all the sins of the whole world, came upon him, and God, for the first time, said, "I I I can't look at you." 
You know what I mean? That, his, he loved us so much. He did that on his own, too. He, he could have, I mean, when they, took him, when they took him and nailed him and all this stuff, he could have just, man, forget these guys. Let's strike them all down. You know what I mean? But he's like, no, I love them. I love them. And it's so it's a it's a it's a it's a great thing for the for uh, God to love us. But this is not a message on Him. This is a message on us. I mean, as much as He loves us, do we do we love Him back? Right? You know. So so my title the title of my message is um, um, Do you love the Lord? Do you love the Lord? Let me let me pray and then and then we'll 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 go through this. Okay, Lord Jesus, thank you for. The opportunity to preach your word and just as always, thank you for Calvary. I pray that you um, uh, just show up, please, Lord. You know, you know, I'm inadequate. You know, you know, I stutter and I'm just nervous up here sometimes, Lord. I just pray that you settle me down and and just help me um, to to preach to your people, Lord. Um, I pray for our pastor, Lord. I just uh, thank you for him and I just pray you you take care of him while he's out and about and. And I just um, just thank you for everything you do. Let's just bless this time in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, so, so the title of the message is "Do you love the Lord?" So, if you if you love the Lord, you'll do certain you'll do some things. So, I, I got I got a few points that that I'm gonna go through, and we'll just look at them and see see where we stand when it comes to our love for Him. Okay. Um, um, point number one: If you love the Lord. You'll enjoy his words. Yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll enjoy his words. Amen. In, in, in Colossians 3, uh, 16, we can go there. We can go there. Um, uh, Colossians 3, 16. Colossians 3, 16, the Bible says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns, in spiritual song, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. You know, it tells us to let the word of Christ dwell in us richly in all wisdom. How much time do we really uh, spend with, in God's word daily? It, it, it literally says let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. I, I, I mean, I know we're I know we're singing and having a good time, but the, is, is this how I mean, if you love the Lord, this this shouldn't be the only day you do this. We, we should be we should be singing every day. You know, what I mean, so I mean, a lot of a lot of the guys that work and I ain't saying that because, you know, I, I'm I'm probably just as spiritual as the next one. Kind of OK about it. You know, what I mean, but but I but I like to sing and I like to whistle at work. And, and these guys, they 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 trip out on me. They're just like, hey, what is this guy all happy about, man? This is a myth. And, and these guys don't see it. These guys got a good job. You got a pension benefits, man. They got money and they're and, and they're disgruntled and unhappy. And it's just like, bro, you know what I mean? But if you have the Lord, yeah. none, of, none of that stuff means anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. I, I mean, and when you have his word, that, that, that's even more comforting. Do you, do, you, do you guys read your Bibles every day? Has any, have, here's one for you. Have you, um, have, you read, have you read through your Bible? I mean, I think some of us are old enough in the Lord to at least read through Something, uh, New Testament, Old Testament, a uh, whole Bible, something. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I would encourage you to, to read through your Bible. I mean, I understand, you know, we get preached at, and I know you listen to a lot of maybe good messages, you know, and stuff like that. But there is nothing more greater than you getting with God and, and, and getting into his word and getting preached at. It, it, it helps you. It helps you from sinning. You know, you, you probably think of some of the sins you commit through a day. Maybe if you, maybe if we got a, uh, if we had God's word in us, we wouldn't, right? What, what's that? What's that verse? Psalm one, uh, one nineteen eleven. Yeah, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Woo, if if you if you ever notice, you can't do both. Yeah, that's wow, good. Bro. You, am I right? You can't yeah. sin. You can't be in the flesh and in the spirit at the same time. Yeah, yeah, you see, you guys are thinking about it, you're like, because you can. 
You're either, you're either in the spirit or you're not. You're either letting the spirit of God run you or the, or the spirit of that wicked flesh. But, with that, but when you got the word of God in you, it keeps you on that spiritual side. You know what I mean? Do you, do you love them enough to get in there? I mean, I know it's hard. You know what I mean? I, I remember when I got saved. And, and, and we got saved out of, you know, I got saved uh, in a non-denominational church, one of those Calvary Chapel deals. And we was in a, we was in a, um, uh, read, you know, reading NIV and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and it was just like, oh, man, when, it, when somebody showed me that, that the King James Bible is the word of God, I said, man, I, got, I had to regroup. I had to literally get all that junk out of my head and get the right and get the right Bible in me. No wonder I wasn't living a good life and it was all flaky. Man, the Bibles don't teach you nothing because they, 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 they're not God's word, though. But we got we got the King James Bible. We got it. You know what I mean? Do you love it? Do you do you love it? Um, what you call it? Uh, here, here's one, here's one for you. Uh, John 14. John 14. Yeah, go ahead. Go there. Yeah, the word of God is strong. But what's, the, uh, what's that verse? Uh, the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. I think that's why we don't uh, love the Bible, because <laughs> it knows all about you, and he tells it. That book will rat you out, man. <laughs> Amen. Look at, look, at, look at this one. John 14 and verse 23. Jesus, Jesus answered. Man, he called it out. He, 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 put, he, he made you pick a side right here. He, it says, Jesus answered and said unto him, If any man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him. And we will, we will I mean, and we will come unto them and make our abode with them. Wow. So he said, if you love me, you're going to keep my words. That's right. Wow. In, in um, um, John 14, 21, that, which, is, which is pretty close, he says, he says, he that hath, hath my commandments and keepeth them, it is he that loveth me. Wow, he's telling you who loved it. He, he even knows if you love him or not. Are you keeping his word? Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, and and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will. Uh, uh, wrong, am I in the right one? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the right one. And I and and I will love him. I mean, I will love him, and will manif manifest myself into. I mean, to him. So if you if you love him, you'll you'll keep his words. Um, you, you know what he, you know what he said to the Pharisees. He he told he told them he that is of God heareth God's words. You hear them not, cause you're not of God. <laughs> so he so he he kind of makes a distinction who loves his word and, and who doesn't. So you know you have to ask yourself, do you love his word? Amen. The next point is if you if you love the Lord, the first one was uh, you enjoy hearing his words. The second one is uh, you'll enjoy his fellowship. Amen. You'll enjoy wanting to be around him. Amen. Do, 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 do you do you have that feeling that you want to be around the Lord? I'm not talking about each other. I know we love each other and all that stuff, but we're not the Lord. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can only do so much. You know what I mean? But the Lord, oh man, He could do so much. Have you ever have you ever been in Have you ever been in just some serious prayer, like like just closet prayer, just you and the Lord, and, and it just and it just got so thick in there where it, where the Lord is just man, He just has you in tears. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I feel, all right, all right, I'm glad somebody uh, yeah. understand what I'm saying, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean there'd be times in the yeah. morning, man, I'm on my way to work, and I'm just listening to some song. Yeah. You know, how, how just Christ shed his blood for a wretch like me, man, yeah. and I just, I can't help it, man. Yeah. I just, I, I got to pull over, bro, and I'm serious. I got to pull over and just start crying, man, like, yeah. man, because I know me. Yeah. Man, I'm so wicked, and, and, and the Lord says, you know what? That's all right. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh wow, man. A friend is six closer than a brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Amen, yeah. man. You know, but do you desire to have fellowship with him? 
You know, you know what I mean? Um, that one-on-one -on -one time with him. In 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9, he says, God is faithful by whom ye were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen, amen. 1 John, go, go, go to 1 John. Go to 1 John. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go 1 John 1. Okay, then 1 John chapter 1, and we'll start in verse 1. It says, it's, it says, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life. Man, it was close, huh? Amen. Boy, have you ever, have you, have you ever had that time? I mean, I know they were, I know it was tangible with them, but have you had that type of fellowship with the Lord where it was tangible, where, where, where he was there? Man, that, that's some good stuff right there. Verse 2, okay. for the life was manifest, I mean, um, for the life was manifest and we seen it and bear witness and, and, show unto, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father and is manifest uh, unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that, that ye may also have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. And these things I write unto you that your joy may be full. Amen. See, he's trying to get you to know that, that one he knows. Yeah. Like, like he knows them. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? This is a, um, a verse, verse 5. Uh, this then is the message we've heard from him and declare unto you that God is light. And in him there is no darkness at all. Hey, so, 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 uh, and you guys can't do this because I'm the only one that can do this because I'm because I'm black. <laughs> I, I'm the only one that can do this. You know what I mean? You got those black Israelites that go, hey, Jesus Christ is a black man. You, you give him this verse. You know what I mean? It says God is light. And in him there's no darkness at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I can, I can, I'm the only one that can pull that one off. You know? Black Lives Matter or chase y'all down the street and stuff. It ain't going to mess with me. But anyway, but he, anyway, I, I, the Holy Spirit just took off. You saw that? Come back, Lord. Come back. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. But, but, but you see that fellowship, the fellowship that you would want to have with the Lord? You should, you should want that fellowship. Even when things aren't, aren't, are, are tough. Because he's talking about, he's talking about this, this man that I'm talking about. If, if I show him to you, he'll make your joy full. So that means in any situation, we should be, we should be, uh, have joy. Amen. I, I'm talking about if you're broke, you know what I mean? You're talking about your car broke down, brother. I know how that feels. I mean, you, 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 lose, you, you lose a kid. I mean, I don't know. There's all kinds of terrible things. Man, you, you can't lose your joy. Even with, with all that, you should always want to have that fellowship with him. Philippians 3, 7. Philippians 3, 7. I mean, even, even when times aren't easy, we should always want to, want to have that fellowship with the Lord. Uh, Philippians 3, 7. He says, but the things, but, uh, but what things were gained to me? And he was talking about all the things that he had. Yeah. All the things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Yeah, Yea, doubtless. And I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, <laughs> for whom I have suffered, love, suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ. Amen. Did, 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 you, did you catch that? I mean, I mean, you know what you know what you know what your dung is? It is uh, that that Netflix? <laughs> That's your dung. Do you count it but lost? I mean, your your riches, your house. What if you, what if your house burned down? You know what I mean? They just had some paradise people last year lost everything they had. You know what I mean? All right, if that was you, would you still count it everything but lost? For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Verse, verse, verse 9. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness of God, which is by faith, Amen. that I may look at this, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection 
and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain uh, the resurrection of the dead. Wow, man. Do, 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 do you want to have fellowship with him that much? Man, man, uh, I mean, after reading that, man, I, I, I hope you, I hope you uh, really get a hold of that, man. The Lord wants your fellowship. He gets bummed when you don't want to hang out with him. You know, you know where the Bible says, the Bible says you can grieve the Holy Spirit. You can quench the Holy Spirit. Man, that's cold, man. Imagine you want to spend some time with somebody and they don't want to be, be bothered with you. That's grieving. You know, this Holy Spirit sitting there going, hey, let's read, let's read God's word. Let's do something spiritual. Let's lead some souls and talk to some souls about yeah, the, the yeah. Christ or something like that. And you're like, nah, I ain't got it. And he's just like, oh, man, that's what grieving the Holy Spirit is. That's what we do to the Lord sometimes. You know what I mean? We should try to, we should try to get that fellowship back if you yeah. lost it. Amen. Next point. If if you love the Lord, you enjoy hearing his words. Uh, um, two, you enjoy his fellowship. Three, uh, you enjoy fellowship with the church. Amen. <laughs> with the church. I don't think we do too bad at that, man. Y'all y'all tolerate me very well, man. Amen. But but you you'll have fellowship with the church. Colossians 1:24, he says, "Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. And, I, and you know what the church is? It's not a building. Yeah. The church is us. Yeah. We're the church. You know what I mean? That's, that's, where, that's where Catholics and all them people have problems sometimes because they don't. They 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 looking at the wrong thing. You got you you got to look at the people. They're looking at the building. You know what I mean? That's why we could be in a house. We could be outside. I remember the, last year we the COVID. We're living outside in hundred degree weather, having church. Yeah. Got this guy w running, sweating all over everybody. You know what I'm saying? It, man, if we were having church because we're all together yeah. because. Because the church is, 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 I mean, God wants you to be in the church. He doesn't want you to get saved and just go out in the world. I feel bad for a lot of people, you know, like the, the, some people online, maybe they don't have a church to go to or something. But I'll find some fellowship with somebody. You ain't going to make it without, without, the, without the brothers in Christ. Turn, turn, to, turn, turn to Hebrews 10, 19. Um, Isaiah, Isaiah 2, verse 3, he says, And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up it, into the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us, um, teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That, that, that's that Old Testament church. But, you know, this, our, ours, ours is the same thing. We all come together. We all come to hear out of God's word and we all come to fellowship. Amen. 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 Uh, but, uh, first, first Timothy 3, 5, he says, but, but if I tarry long that thou may know how to how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. Amen, amen. Um, Hebrews 10, 19, he says, he says, having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiness by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. Amen. You, you know, there's some benefits. There's some benefits to, to, to being in church. Yeah. There's some benefits to it. One of them is right here in verse 19. We have boldness. Yeah. It gives you boldness. You know why? Because you're around, you're around your peoples. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> you're around your peoples. Oh. You, ever, you ever get around your peoples, man, and you're just like... You know what I mean? I, you, know, I, you know, I know none of y'all any gangbangers, but you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm from the I'm from the ghetto, man. So you know what I mean? I I, I just think I just think when you're in the wrong neighborhood, man, and and, and 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 you know these guys are gonna come get beat you up or whatever. You know what I mean? But but then you see your homies coming, you're like, yeah, what's up now? <laughs> what's up now? 
But you know what I mean? When you're around God's people, you're like, yay, praise the Lord, running, jumping. When you're out there in the world, man, you do that by yourself. People just look at you like, you know what I mean? It's no, it's, there's no connection. Then it's no connection. But when you're in church, you have boldness to enter into the holies. You know what I mean? You're not ashamed. You're not ashamed. You know another thing. You know another thing that's cool is is we can another benefit is we can we can worship God freely. Verse twenty one, and having and having a high priest over the house of God, we 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 worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords freely. And if you, I don't know about y'all, but if I miss if I miss a week or, or something like that, man, I miss too much church, man. I'm, I'm gonna come in like crawling, man, like, <laughs> like, like please, oh man. Y'all see me miss a few weeks? And I come in, man, I be I be kissing I be kissing the pastor, man. He's like, man, get off me, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just happy to be there. Amen, no, I'm not worshiping the man. Yeah. Man, I'm worshiping God. I'm worshiping, worshiping with his people. Yeah, it's, it's, it, there's nothing like it's better than doing it by yourself. Yeah. Amen. You know, another benefit. Look at look at um, look at he, uh, verse 22. He says, let us draw near with a full heart. And a, I mean, uh, with a true heart and a full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our uh, 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 evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. You know, another benefit is this, is, this place you can get your heart fixed. Amen. You can get your heart right. You come in, you're all messed up, you, 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 you get preached at, something stirs your heart, man, like, man, you come to the altar, you get that thing right. I mean, it's good, it's good to get it out there, but there's nothing like getting it right here. It might be something really bad, and you got a brother coming up to you, hug your sister, whatever, hey, it's all right. You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many times I've seen people get right with sin and then the, and the brothers come. You know, what I mean, I don't understand those churches that 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 judge people. You know, what I mean, they look at it like, what's wrong with him? Why is he? Why is he amen and then running around? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, what I mean, what are you there for? I don't I don't know. I don't know, man. They're, they're, they're at church for the wrong reason. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I don't understand how you could come to church, and and leave and still be angry. That's that's not how church should be. You're supposed to come in and get filled. You know what I mean? That's that's what he's talking about right here. Uh, another benefit, verse uh, twenty three. He said, um, verse twenty three. He says, "Let us hold profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful to promise." Um, I mean, um, when, when, I mean, when you, um, another benefit is uh, the church keeps, you, keeps your faith strong. Yeah. It keeps you strong. You know what I mean? And, 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 and another, part, another part in verse 25, it says, And forsaking not the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. You get exhortation. You, I mean, I mean, that's why we should always stick together. I, I always get worried when I'm when some people are missing. When some people are missing, I man, I, man, what's up with them, man? Let's call, give them a call or something. You know why? I don't care what nobody says. Every one of us in here can fall. Amen. Every one of us in here. Our pastor, he can fall. Don't, don't, don't think because he, he, he's got all his ducks in a row. and he's pre Man, he missed he miss a few services. Stay out of that Bible. Get, you're going you're gonna to fall. I'm, so, I'm sorry. We're all, we, we need each other. You can't forsake the assembly. And this is not just talking about church. This is talking about Christians in general. We're all the body of Christ. We need to, we need to stick together. Amen. 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 So if you love if you love if you love his if you love the Lord, you um you'll love his word. You'll um you'll love his word. You'll you'll enjoy his fellowship. You'll enjoy fellowship with each other. Another thing you'll do is you'll enjoy you'll enjoy praising him. Praising um, an expression of gratitude for personal favors conferred and glorifying or extolling. In other words, you're praising God for who he is. Yeah. I mean, we did that today during the prayer. I mean, man, sometimes, some, sometimes it's not all about our problems and our complaints. Why can't, well, I mean, why don't we just praise the Lord for who he is? Yeah. He's, he's God, man. Yeah. Psalm 100, Psalm 100. Psalm 100. 
Okay, Psalm, Psalm 100 and Psalm 100 and, and verse 1. Man, check, it, check out this psalm. This is an awesome psalm right here. And I hope y'all feel this when I'm reading this. It, like I said, I ain't got much for y'all, man. I'm just, I just give you Bible. That's all. <laughs> it, 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 if, if I don't give you this, I, I really don't have much to say. Um, psalm 100, a psalm of praise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Amen. Wow. Hey, 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 is that a, have y'all ever had that attitude? I, mean, I think we had that earlier. We were singing and stuff like that. I mean, come before him with gladness. Yeah. Be happy. Ha look, at, look at this. Look at this uh, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not yeah. we ourselves. Amen. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. He said thankful twice in yeah. that. I mean, I, I mean, how thankful are we? I mean, I know we got issues and we got things we want to take care of. The Lord want you know, to take care. But, man, are we thankful for anything? Man, I mean, I mean here, here's what you can do. Put a, just make a list. Make a list of things you're thankful for. And 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 your request, and see, and, and see, if if your request if your request is more than your thankfulness, I don't know. Yeah, you got to re, you got to regroup because there's a lot of things you should be thankful for, even in the situation that you're in. A Amen. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. Thank 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 God for that. We're, we're not going to hell. Yeah. As wicked as we are, we're not going to hell. Just that alone. Just that alone, we should be happy for his mercy. Man, we, we, deserve, we, we, deserve, we deserve bad. Very bad. And, 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 and you know the difference between us and the world? Uh, we got Christ. <laughs> we, we, we're exactly the same. We're no different than them. Matter of fact, there's some lost people who are nicer than us. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we got Christ. We got mercy on our side. Amen. His truth endureth for all generations. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Okay, then um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, for the sake of time, I'm going to, 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 I'm going to stop, I'm, I'm going to go one more. I'm going to go, well, give it to us. Uh, amen, amen. All right, look, all right, then look. Okay, then, um, okay, then the, the next, the next point, of, uh, the, um, okay, if you love the Lord, you, you enjoy hearing his words, yeah. you enjoy his fellowship, amen. you enjoy the fellowship uh, of the church, amen. You, en you enjoy praising him, amen. and you'll enjoy sacrificing yourself for him. Wow. Ver Romans 12, 1, th 1 and 2, he says, I beseech you, brethren, therefore, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Isn't that crazy? He says, he says, your whole body is reasonable. You know, like, oh, well, I want to do this. or I want to do that. He said, <laughs> he said, just give your whole self to me. Yeah. It's reasonable. I, 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 I mean, because believe me, when the, I think he tells us sometimes, wait till you see what I got for you, man. And you can't give me a little bit of your day, right. a little bit of your time. Man, I got so much for you, man. I, 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 you know what I mean? Amen. Amen. Sacrifice to destroy, to, sur to surrender or suffer, to be lost for the sake of, of obtaining something, so 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 when you're when you're sacrificing, you're giving everything you got. You're giving everything you got, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You know the the thing that I, the uh, I mean. In my, in my in my walk with the Lord, I've been saved for uh, man. How long? Sheila? I don't even remember. 20, 30, 
20, what, 20 some years or something like that? I don't remember. I don't remember. But but in the past six years, I f- this is this is this is what I this is what I've learned. That 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 um giving myself giving my I mean um, not thinking of myself and putting myself last has been the best thing I've ever done as wow. as a Christian. Giving myself to others, giving my money, my time, my love, my my everything, you know what I mean, for the cause of Christ. You know what I mean? I see like some of you guys be soul winning and stuff. You know what you're doing? You're giving up your time. Yeah. You could be doing yeah. something else. <laughs> you could be. Yeah. I don't know why I always keep bringing up a uh, uh, PlayStation because I tried to play it the other day. I couldn't. I was like, man, this is stupid. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe some of y'all are on that. I don't know, but. But you know, I, I just know a lot of people give their time for that. But, but you know, uh, when I learned that it's not about me, that's when things got better. Yeah. That's that's when things got better, yeah. and that's and, and I think that's the problem. You know, because because we don't realize that we're not our own. Yeah. For First Corinthians six nineteen, he says, "What? No, know ye not your body? I mean that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost." Yeah. Which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with a price. He bought you. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. I like how he does that. He, he just told you in verse 19 that, that, that you're his. And then at the end he had to go, oh, oh yeah, one more thing, which are God's. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think we forget that we, you know, what I mean, uh, Roman, Romans 4, 7, 7 and 8. He says, for no man liveth unto himself and no man died unto himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. Whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Titus 2, 11. He says, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, righteously and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us and redeemed us from all iniquity and purified unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Woo. See, 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 when you gave yourself up for, when you sacrificed yourself for Christ, he, 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 he gave you a better life. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm happy. With, I wouldn't trade this for the world. Sheila, 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 Sheila remembers me when I was lost. And, and I wasn't, I wasn't a cool dude. I was probably cool to the world. But, but, but I wasn't cool. I wasn't a good guy at all. So it was like night and day. When I got saved, it was like Paul. I'm sitting there going, hey, man, praise the Lord. And everybody's like, nah, man. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I don't know about this guy. I, I, I don't think you should have brought him, Sheila. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, no, serious. I'm saved. And they're like, nah, nah. <laughs> you know, but after a while, they started to see, wow, man. He changed my life. He changed my life. Amen, amen. All right, then. Um, um, you love, if you love the Lord, you enjoy his words, you enjoy his fellowship, you enjoy the fellowship of the church, you enjoy praising him, you enjoy sacrificing yourself, and my, and my wife's favorite, my wife's favorite, you, you'll enjoy thinking of his return. Yeah, yeah. His, his return. Here, here we go, amen, amen. First Thessalonians, I mean, um, First, First Thessalonians uh, 4, 13. Yeah. First Thessalonians 4, 13. First Thessalonians 4, 13. Okay, I'm almost done, guys. All right, then. Um, um, but, but, <laughs> but I, I would have, I mean, I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning those things which are uh, them that, are, which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others yeah. which have no hope. See, yeah. I, see how we're in and yeah. they're not? Sad, man. Sad for them. But that's why we got to try to lead them to Christ so they can so they can be like us with no sorrow. For, uh, verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which also sleep in Jesus will God bring with them. For this I say unto you, 
by the word of the Lord that that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which, which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven Amen. with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Woo. Then we, I hope that's us, man. Yeah. I don't feel like, I don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel like that. I'm just ready to change, you know what I mean? But, yeah. but it says that we which are alive and remain yeah. shall be caught up together yeah. with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, yeah. and so shall we ever be with the Lord. <laughs> are you, amen, are you, are you waiting for his return? Yeah. If you love, if you love the Lord, you, you're going to be, you're going to be seeking. He promised. Yeah. He promised, didn't he? He said, let, you, let, not your, <laughs> let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. That's, that's Jesus Christ. He promised that he would. When it's hey, when that time comes, man, awesome. Oh man, I, I got I got I got to make this deep for Sheila because she because she lives in pain. She's always in pain. She just has a, a miserable life. With but one day, Sheila, you're gonna be you're gonna be yeah. feeling good. Hey, hey first, uh, first Corinthians. First Corinthians 15, verse 51, he says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. <laughs> wow, man. Man, hey, I'll be I'll, I'll be ready to take Jonathan down. Then I'm gonna be like, hey, I get that glorified Bible. I'm gonna be like, what's up, Jonathan? I'm ready now. Woo! I'll be, hey, hey, y'all don't know, brother Jonathan. He's strong, man. You know what I mean? He's strong. Man. He take me down quick. But I, but hey, my glorified body. I bet you, it's all. <laughs> I'll call him out. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hey, we're gonna get that new body. Philippians 3.20 says, For our conversation is in heaven, from which we also look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile bodies, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. We're going to be like Christ. Wow. Amen. And then, then, you know, the Bible says there's a reward for that. When you you look for his, uh, when you look for his coming. For uh, 2 Timothy 4, 7, he says, For I have fought the good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith, henceforth laid up, uh, is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give to me at that day, and not unto me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. Hey, if, you, if, you're not, if you're not loving this appearing, you, you ain't going to get one of these, man. Everybody should get one of these. This is, this is, everybody should get one of these, but, man, some aren't. Well, that's a bummer. You know what I mean? But we should, we should be, but, but when we're looking for, if we're looking for his appearing, we want, we want to make sure our lives are right, too. You want to live a holy life. Uh, first, uh, last, last verse, uh, 1 John uh, 3. First John 3, 1. First John 3, verse 1. <clears throat> Thank you all for hanging in there with me. Behold, behold what manner of the, of the Father, I mean, behold what manner of love yeah. the Father had bestowed upon us that he, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us. See, that's, here's the problem. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knows him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear when we shall be, but we know when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Whoa! For we shall see him as he is. Amen. And if every man have this, now this is where it gets quiet. And every man that hath this hope in him, purifieth himself, even as he is pure. 
Hey, hey, I mean, when you're thinking of the Lord and you're thinking of him coming, man, it's just like it's just like dad coming home, man. And you and you're in the and you're in the kitchen tearing up. You got you threw flour everywhere, and then you hear they, they, and you have the flour fight and, the, and all that stuff. And then the, he, he, you hear the dad's car drive up. You're like, oh no, ah, you know what I mean? You're busted. You don't want to be caught up like that. You want you want to keep your life right. Amen, amen, amen. You know what? You know what? This one is so. This one is. This is probably one of the most important um, uh, de deals in the Bible. That that the last prayer was 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 um, was him coming back. Yeah. Uh, Revelation twenty two twenty. He says, "He that testified these things says, Surely I come quickly. Sure. Even so, come Lord Jesus." Yeah. That's the last prayer. That's that's the last words of the Bible. Even so, come. Yeah. Amen, amen. We we want them. To, we want them to come. Amen, amen, amen. So so question: Do you love the Lord? If you love the Lord, you'll 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 enjoy these things. And you notice I put enjoy. It's not do. You know, this is not something that you do. This is something that you enjoy. You enjoy hearing his words. You enjoy his fellowship. You enjoy fellowship with the church. You enjoy praising him. Amen. You enjoy sacrificing Amen. for him. And you enjoy thinking of his return.